What about selling an out, out of the money October weekly and buying November to collect theta on the October and then sell the November keeping the premium and morphing it into another trade in Google. Uh, you know, when you look at the, the, here's the weeklies in October in uh, Google. Uh, you can see the 620s, which have uh, Thursday and Friday for trading. There's some volume there. They uh, traded a couple thousand. Uh, they're trading a $1.5, $1.25. Uh, when you look at the November 20s, 620s, they're, uh, you know, 1180, 1210. Um, you know, if you want to try and buy that call spread, uh, it's not really a true call spread because the weekly has got a couple days left. I mean, uh, you're just putting on a, a 620 neutral spread and trying to reduce uh, the premium that you're paying for really for the no 20, the no 620 uh, uh, strike price, Mary, uh, which in two days may disintegrate uh, by that dollar and 25 uh, in the uh, call that you sold. Uh, it's not a really good correlation uh, because you only got a couple days left. I know that the weeklies provide this opportunity to uh, get in to get premium really uh, cheap for a short period of time or sell premium to collect it real quick for a short period of time. But when you when you look at that, you got to be careful because uh, it might be like a, it, there, it may be a volatility trap, uh, meaning that it may look like it's a good sell, but yes, it might be a good buy because this stock could pop ten, fifteen dollars. I mean, if this stock popped fifteen dollars, which is what, uh, fifteen dollars is two and a half percent. A two and a half percent move in Google and it goes to six thirty. That call you just sold for a buck, buck ten is now ten dollars. All right, and your call here is going to probably move uh, the November. It's got a, let's look at the delta. It's got a 40 delta. Uh, it's going to move maybe a 10 point move, maybe $5. So you picked up $5 in your long, and you just lost nine on your shorts. So you got to be careful. Uh, because remember, when you're dealing with calls with very little days left, what do you know about the delta? It's going to be zero or 100 eventually, isn't it? So as you get closer to the expiry, the delta on a call and the gamma on a call, as is as the put, is going to be very explosive because of the fact that now you're talking about uh, a decreased probability uh, where an increased volatility is going to have an immediate reaction versus as more time spreads out that possible probability and time factor to it. So, you know, this 620 call, what are they saying that it has a, a delta? Right here, it has a delta of 18. Well, what do you think is going to happen if the stock jumps to 625? Now it's going to have a delta of close to 80 so quickly, whereas you're going to see the uh, 620 call here, it's not going to have a delta of 80. Uh, it's probably going to have a delta of probably closer to 55 to 60. Uh, 